Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast with meteorologist Bill Alexander. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It did turn out to be a breezy and warm afternoon. Actually turned out very nice indeed. But let's talk about something else. What's going to happen this week? Well, the number two weather-related killer. That's, that's right. There it is. You can see the arrow. Rip currents uh, in 2019. How is that weather related? I'll get to that in a second. Uh, in fact, over the last 10 years, it's been the number four killer nationwide. And it's something that uh, we have a problem with around here from time to time. And this is one of those times. Here's the key. You've got strong southeasterly winds anticipated all week long. In fact, right on through Saturday. And that's exactly the problem that we'll have here because that impacts our coastline at about a 90 degree angle, and that creates the rip current, so it's long sustained, strong southeasterly winds. And that's going to be a problem. Already we're seeing a uh, rip current risk up to moderate category tomorrow. It'll be in the high category the rest of the week. All right, there's a quick look at rip currents, and you can see this guy right near the coast, and then it drags him right on out. And that's what happens. A strong southeasterly wind causes the water to be forced up ashore, and it finds a low spot, and that's a channel, and it rises back through in that advanced rip current. And unfortunately, the speed of the rip current is so strong that you can't outswim it. And don't try to fight the current. An Olympic swimmer cannot beat that rip current. So you have to swim parallel to the shore because the rip current is only a few yards wide, and you can swim out of it if you parallel the shore, and then you can get back in. So here's your beach forecast to think about. Tomorrow, east winds 15 to 20 knots. Small craft should be exercising caution for choppy bays and seas at 4 to 8 feet. Moderate rip current risk tomorrow. Uh, sea water temperature at 63 degrees. We made it up to 76 degrees today, that morning low of 60 degrees. And the clouds, well, they could have been coming and going during the day. And there'll be more cloud cover throughout the week. That's an important factor because it'll kind of limit heating a little bit. Temperatures uh, right now, upper 60s to upper 70s across the state and across our area. In the 60s along the coastline, a little cool there at Port A because of that onshore flow in the 70s in inland areas. Now, overnight tonight, those temperatures aren't going to change much along the coast. We'll be about 60 here in Corpus Christi and then rising during the course of the day into the middle to upper 70s, even near 80 degrees uh, in the inside uh, interior areas. Now, what we'll be seeing is a lot of clouds, but no precipitation this week. In fact, here's your forecast. Uh, this is what we're going to be looking at. Wind, the major factor. Let me go back one here. And uh, that's not where I wanted to go. A major factor during the course of the next several days with temperatures rising into the middle to upper 70s. And the only chance of rain will be coming up uh, this weekend when we have a cold front coming through. And that will be dropping temperatures only slightly, but giving us scattered thunderstorms. Remember to turn your clocks forward Saturday night for Daylight Savings Time. Paul will be back with more news after the break. 